Well hello there, welcome back, nice to see you again. If you've been watching for a while you might notice a few things have changed because we've had a bit of a change round. Usually uh, my desk and everything's in another room but we've swapped rooms so now my office and number one son's bedroom have been switched around. So let me show you around the new digs. So basically what's happened is this is only a tiny little room so I'm going to be using this as my office and number one son's going to get the big room that I was using in my office and that's going to be his bedroom for a number of reasons. So we've got everything in here now. So I've got my desk over here uh, and my little command centre with all my monitors and everything. We've got the little fish tank here. That's going to be changed over for the slightly bigger fish tank which is here. And then we've got a big gap here which is going to house the marine tank and that's today's video the challenge of moving a fairly large tank and how we go about it and we're still obviously getting some stuff sorted out so i've still got the kids clock on the wall Still got the Nerf gun rack over here, uh, but everything else is pretty much done. And we've just got some cables and stuff to tidy up down here, and then we're ready to go. So hopefully I've measured this space properly and we can get that tank in there. So let's have a look at that. So there's the saltwater tank that's in there. It's a three foot cube, so I don't know, what's that, 500 gallons? Maybe I'm just childish and immature. I love it. But my plan is that we get that emptied out all the water into a big water butt and move the tank once it's drained down and put it in there. So first I need to go and get a big water butt because I don't have one. So quick trip to the shops. So that's the water butt I got, it's a 210 litre water butt. Um, I'm actually planning on using it in the garden so when I empty my big tank with the water changes I can store that water and then use it on the garden. So it should be good for the plants. Um, if you are thinking about getting a water butt and using it to store your aquarium water, which I'm not really going to do in this case, um, it's best to check that it's food safe. And over here, if you check the bottom, looking for that stamp there HDPE number two is the food safe version or so I've been told by looking up on the internet um, but I'm not really that worried about it for this one because like I say I'm only going to store the water in it very quickly while I swap the tanks over but I'll fill it up and empty it a few times give it a good rinse out and I can sterilize it as well with some Milton tablets uh, but I don't think I need to do that with this one um, yes, so that's the water butt check. Okay, so day two, the plan is, I've got the tank here, got the water butt out there, which I left filled up overnight. So anything that is in there, anything they've used to clean it or whatever it might be, should have been taken away from that. I've got all the rock is going to go in this plastic tub, all the fish, and the snails and the livestock are going to go in the bucket all the water is going to go in the water butt and then we can move it
So it's drained, rocks are all in there. I just need to find someone strong enough to help me move it. Right, it's in place. It's my desk. It's fish tank, so that will be roughly the viewing angle. So I want to kind of get most of my rock work up on this side, on the back there, leaving that window more than that window as the primary viewing angle. So let's get some rocks in. Okay, we're in, we're back up and running. Um, water's a bit cloudy because obviously I've stirred everything up a bit, but that shouldn't take long to clear up. Um, it's probably good enough to get the fish back in, stop them stressed out. So I've got them in a bucket at the moment with my trusty battery air stone. Um, as you saw, everything's filled back up again. I didn't have quite enough water to refill because I couldn't hold it all in that water butt, so I just had to make up some fresh. But I've checked the salinity, uh, pH, everything matches between that and the water that the livestock's in. So we'll get them back in and then we're all done. I think that's quite good. Uh, I'll stick in a couple of shots once it clears up again so you can see the new layout. But I think once these fish are in, that'll be us done. So I shall sign off now. Bye bye.